Yes, so here we are again because mm -hmm. we have released your first mini album. Yeah. So give a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, so this album is called This Is How. Mm -hmm. And you named it. Yeah. Yeah. So before we talk about why you name it, this is how. Let's go back to almost like a year before. Mm -hmm. Last year, 2022, around this time of the year, that's when we started planning and talking about what we want for this mini album. How are we supposed to set the direction? And then at the end, we came up with the all five different genre idea. Yeah. Yeah. So why you wanted that? I feel like I'm. I don't like being tied down. Yeah. And especially because this is my first project, yeah. I want to experiment. I want to try a few different things. I don't want to be tied down to one genre. Yeah. So I thought, let's have five different things we can experiment, mm -hmm. and it will be five different aspects of my life. By different stories. Yeah, because yeah. everything is kind of like part of you too, right? Yeah. It's a, it's what you like. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite versatile. Yeah, so then we decided to go with five really completely different genre, mm -hmm. and after we are done, like fast forward to mm. this year, that's when you came up with the name. Because when we started the project, we don't have a name yet. We always call it the mini album, the mini album, yeah. yeah. And then you have this name. Why do you name it? This is how. I was sitting down. Yeah. I was just brainstorming. I was actually thinking like what to name the album because yeah. we don't have. Yeah. And from the idea of this is the different stories of me, mm -hmm. I just thought, okay, so this is how I became myself. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, throughout the whole uh, production process, all the songs we know that it's a reflection of certain important part mm. of your life. But we just never come to the conclusion. Oh yeah, we should name the album. Mm. This is how. Yeah. So then this is how mm -hmm. <laughs> it became the your first ever mini album today. Yeah. And your first. Title track is called Third. Third. Yeah. yeah. So I remember when you showed me the demo after you wrote it, I was like, hmm, there's no dirt in the lyrics technically. Uh, right? I mean, yeah, there is oh, one, there is one? Dirt. Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I, I memorized the whole lyrics, but I kind of forgot sometimes. So why do you write the song? Uh, I started with, I was on the guitar, I was just writing, yeah. and something came out, I was like, because uh, up until then I've been writing slow songs, it's mm. been like, uh, dum, dum, dum. Yeah. So I, and then I just thought, okay, challenge myself, I try to do something fast. Yeah. So I did that, but I had no lyrics yet. Mm -hmm. And then, I had like, I have PTSD from this person that I met mm -hmm. in school, mm -hmm. that I do not like. So, actually, I really hate her. <laughs> she made my life really hard. Okay. Because it's a teacher I had in school, okay? I don't like her. And once in a while, she would pop into my head. Because mm -hmm. she's, she's one of the reasons mm. why I want to do well for myself. Okay. So I can be someone mm. with a name, with power. Yeah. So that one day, if I do meet her again, yeah. Yeah. You guys yeah. will be at the at least the same or even like a higher. No, definitely level. higher than her. She's <laughs> she's here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then she she popped into my head and I was like, mm -hmm. "Okay, I'm going to write about you." Okay. So I kind of wrote about um I guess daydreaming or fantasizing about meeting her again and kind of being at least rude to her or mm -hmm. like your yeah. little kind of like revenge. Yeah. Okay. So that is the story yeah. for the song. Yeah. yeah. That's why when you show me the first time, before you telling me the story, I was mm. like, mm, the lyrics is quite interesting. It feels like, you no, know, it could be like a couple who got into a fight mm. kind of situation. But then certain lines is like, mm, doesn't make sense that much. Mm. And then when I got to know the story, I was like, oh. 
mm. very, very interesting. And then later on, you also have like a very specific uh, arranging idea that you want. Mm. And technically, then I ask you, do you want to try like producing the song yourself? Yeah. Cause you like the song so much. Mm. So you came out with the whole idea of how you wanted the song to be. Mm -hmm. And then up to when we have like the final, final product, it's your favorite one in this album. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Between the five songs. Yeah. It's the one that I reject, like the final product. Mm -hmm. It's the one I rejected the least. Yes. I, I think I've made, um, I've asked for amendments to be mm. done maximum five times. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then the other songs? We have to. Yeah, you guys know if you mm. watch um, the other unboxing video before, you know we have rejected a lot yeah. of things. <laughs> so I yeah. have no like hatred towards the song and mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And. Up till uh, now release, we're gonna push it as the title track. Mm. What do you hope the audience can capture from the song? Uh, I wouldn't say the story, the lyrics are like straightforward. Uh -huh. You're not gonna be like, oh, he's talking about someone. Mm. Um, I just hope someone mm -hmm. can at least vibe to the song, at mm -hmm. least dance to it, because yeah. it has beat. Yeah. Yeah. Just be in your own world and feel good about mm. yourself. Not, <laughs> don't um, don't care too much yeah. about those who have uh, done maybe something bad to you before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I worked really hard on harmony, so listen to that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes. We have a lot of harmonies. Yeah. yeah, I remember when I was recording you, the harmony files were so big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a lot of layers. Yeah, so that's your title track for this is how. Yep. And then we have also Goodbye Youth, mm -hmm. which uh, it's partially written by you. So I showed you the first demo. It was also beginning of the year, I think. Mm -hmm. And then I showed you two demos at that same time, I remember. And after that, I asked you, okay, is there any of this that capture your attention that you think you want to put it in the album? And then you pick mm. Goodbye Youth. So, what caught your attention at that time? Obviously, the melody was like memorable. I remembered it. Mm. But there was one specific line. Mm -hmm. It was, I've done well, mm -hmm. so I'll give myself a pat on the back. Yeah. Which uh, didn't end up in the final lyrics. Yeah, <laughs> that was what I remembered the most. And it was what made me kind of emotional when I listened to it. Mm -hmm. But the lyrics spoke to me, but it's not something that I would say out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. So I decided to actually change the, the Yeah, other you change some it. other yeah. lines to fit more into your story, mm. your background. Yeah, because I wrote the song. Mm. Uh, that was my story. Yeah, and of course our age is mm. different. Yeah, so what you're going through is also different. So this whole song, um, as what it is now, even though it, it doesn't have that line of the lyrics mm. that caught your attention in the first place. So now, with this final song, what do you hope the audience can get? Um, when I listen to it, I feel kind of like a bittersweet feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it is. maybe feels like a graduation type of feel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, because recently I met up with some friends mm. and I realized we all go, we're all the same age and we're all going through this kind of the same feeling we're like oh it's no longer about oh here's some money from my parents mm. now the first thing that I said when I went to his house was oh how much do you pay for electricity yeah so it's kind of like oh we're all growing at the same pace yeah it's interesting mm. it's kind of scary la. yeah I always find this like age group very interesting because you are, you, you can't call yourself a teenager mm. anymore. So you cannot really like fully rely on your parents and family to support you all the way. And at the same time, you are not really like a full grown adult yet. So it's a very <laughs> weird sometimes mm -hmm. to be in this transition phase 
of life yeah that you have a lot of uh, not just like about life not just about bills uh, and also emotionally yeah yeah where you are also trying to find um, your path what you really want to do and about like working a lot of different things yeah yeah so yeah this is the song the essence of the song um it's a bit too complicated for for even for us to mm. explain so just just listen to it and feel it yeah put your story into the song yeah yeah we just hope that you can have some um comfort uh yeah we are all going through mm. yeah we have been through yeah someone will go through <laughs> if you are still young uh maybe a few years later when you listen to the song mm. yeah you may relate more or you have a different version of the story that you can relate to this song yeah yeah so this is goodbye you and there's the third song uh it's called love blade you name it love blade too yeah cuz uh it was what how do you call that we had to write over it Yeah, so this whole song I that's the first song we actually started working mm. for the whole mini album. Yeah. We started last year. Yeah. December. So we wanted a song that it's like very you. Mm. At least to me um like from my understanding of you, I want it to sound like you. Mm. Yeah, not just the melody lyrics but the arranging itself is very you. Yeah, so we started from the arranging first. Uh I remember talking to the arranger. Uh but at the time the problem was the arranger doesn't know you. Mm. Yeah. You guys probably met once. Yeah. And this talk about a bit more like technical music stuff, like oh what you like, what you don't like, what you listen to, who you listen to. But not so much on who you are mm. on a personal level. Yeah. So she can't really get the vibe right mm. yeah and then i had like two three more like meetings with her just me and her uh trying to show her different things mm. that from my understanding it's you yeah but it's still quite hard for her to get because she really doesn't know you yeah and suddenly one day i don't know whether i told you this story i was at home just with my laptop finding like different sound reference for the arranger and then suddenly there's a story that come to my mind because i know how you walk through your journey like trying to pursue music so then the story came like this the intro is how you started when you are in brunei mm. when there's kind of limited opportunity but you still try your best to do whatever you can and then when we go to the uh, pre-chorus chorus is where you had your first opportunity mm. yeah because we talk about that in your like mini documentary that's when i met you that's when we went to korea for the one week program that's the, like first little milestone yeah mm. you step uh forward and then back to verse 2 it's about your story when you got signed as a trainee mm-hmm. yeah when you thought it's a good news really stepping into the next stage but it didn't come true mm. and then the next chorus is about how you still persist even though the future is very like unclear with covid happening and at the bridge we t- decided not to put in any lyrics. Mm. Yeah. And then we wanted to also pay tribute to your mom, mm-hmm. right? Cuz be- that time we haven't um had she knows yet. Yeah. So we just want to have a part to give special mention to the support that you got from your mom throughout your music journey. So we just had a female yeah. voice in the bridge. So it's like a like a thing that has been lifting you throughout this whole time. Mm. And then the last chorus is where all that you work for, your persistence that got paid off to where you are today 
in your music journey where you have your own work out. So that was the story that I came out. So this whole thing had a story first. Yeah. Yeah. And then I told the arranger this story that I want. And uh, surprisingly, with the story, she got the the vibe right. Mm. I remember showing you, so it's all the like bass yeah. element, slightly dark kind of tone, and then the verse is more cinematic, mm. dramatic. Yeah, so then the whole song, the arrangement start to come to life. Yeah, and then when the arranging part is done, that's where we started writing. That's when we started writing yeah. the lyrics, the melody. Uh, so of course, still keeping the story in mind. I think I wrote like a draft one, and then I sent it to you. Yeah, at that time I was more confident with the chorus that I wrote. Mm. The verse I'm like, mm, I think Jada will reject. <laughs> but when I showed to you, it was totally opposite. You like the verse, mm-hmm. but you don't like the chorus. I don't remember. Yeah. Mm. So <laughs> that's why it didn't make it to the final song. Yeah. So the verse is. The verse now, our verse one, is really the first version that I wrote. Yeah. And after that, you put in your idea mm. for the other parts. Uh, but we still have like few more rounds of yeah. like, amendment here and there, yeah. trying to refine the the words and the melody. Mm-hmm. And then it's done. The songwriting done. Yeah. Then when we have that whole part done, what's your Expectation <laughs> for the song. Yeah. Like in like. Before we were recorded, lah. Uh, oh. Do you like look forward to like? Oh, it should sound like something like this. Um. When I wrote the chorus, mm. it was just kind of like, okay, this is the only thing I can think of. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't feel like. Oh, this is the best thing! I'm so excited. Mm. So, you know, every, that's why I'm saying. That's why we're saying this is still like a experimental yeah. project. So, not everything's the best, but not everything has to be. Yeah, but everything is true, lah. I would say. Yeah. It's, it's really what you want to say. Mm. Yeah. So, that's what we go for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, being true to what you really want to send out to the audience. So. That's why we. That, that's why we do music. Yeah, it's not just to sound good or please anybody, but you have really a story to tell. Yeah. Yeah. So, love bleed went through quite a long time too. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's more or less the same like white dress. If you guys don't know the white dress story, you can go and watch the previous video about white dress. Uh, it's also at least two three months mm-hmm. from the arranging, and then the song. I think we also spend some time. And then, that's the first song we recorded. Yep. And it took six hours. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we came in the afternoon, and then when we all left the studio, it's about eight plus p.m. It's funny because the morning off, I was vlogging. Oh. I was vlogging. I was so I I looked back. I was so mm-hmm. happy and excited. Yeah. And then at the end of the recording, when I was going home, I, I was like, I hate this song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because. It's a song with story. I remember we had to practice first, mm. cause every line I wanted you to express it in that correct tone, so the whole song with just the vocal, we can have that story element. Yeah, I think we practiced for almost one month too. Mm-hmm. We practice part by part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's a torture for you for the song. Yeah. And also a lot of harmonies. Mm-hmm. That's why we took a really long time during the recording. Yeah, and the harmony for this one, I think, were all on the spot, so it took even longer. Yeah, but it came out okay. Yeah, it's it has the cinematic dramatic element. Yeah, and it feels you too. Yeah, so this is the three new songs. Plus, the previous white dress and she knows that made up. This is how. So these five stories are quite the important parts 
of your life so far mm -hmm. they shape you to be who you are from different aspect of life yeah and I don't know maybe you guys are curious why don't we have a love song uh, maybe the next one yeah maybe yeah. the next one we are still working on songs yeah so look forward to more things that Jaden is going to release yep. yeah you still have a lot more things that you want to experiment and try. Oh yeah, we, I have a lot of drafts. Yeah. yeah, okay. So then this is how, and this is how it happened mm. <laughs> behind the scene. So look forward to more updates and watch the other MVs, lyric video, because that's the story behind every single song. Mm. So yeah.